Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David Inhark, and this is going to be a well, what I think is going to be a quick video, but you know, a lot of times my quick videos end up being 30 minutes long. So, anyhow, yeah, just bear with us. What we're concentrating on today, though, are the key bindings for the game. I'm getting a lot of questions about key bindings. I will be perfectly blunt with you and let you know that I have not checked them all out, but uh, we can certainly take a look at some of those. Now, one of the big ones that I've seen a couple of people having trouble with is when you press the tab key, it should cycle between your spawned in vehicles. Likewise, if you hold control and while holding down control, tap the tab key, it will cycle through in reverse. So tab goes one way, control tab goes the other way. That seems to be the big one. Of course, the really big one is the E key for your uh, radial menu and that is still buggy. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. Now, I did have a question also, and, and I apologize that these are going to be a little bit random uh, to start with, but then we'll kind of get back into some semblance of order, or at least I'll try. Uh, but one of the other questions that I had was uh, about looking backwards. So as long as you have your numlock set, you can press numlock one, and that will reverse your camera. You notice I'm now looking backwards, right? And then when I let go. 2, 4, 6, and 8 will rotate the camera. 5 will recenter the camera. Uh, now, I'm in orbit camera mode, so uh, depending on which camera you're in, that could also affect things. Also, the, what camera mode you're in could also affect what your key bindings are, so just be aware of that. All right. Uh, again, 1 is look behind. You have 7, which doesn't really seem to do anything. Uh, 9 will zoom in. Three will zoom out. And remember, these are all on your numpad. So if you're using a laptop that doesn't have a numpad uh, and you enable your numlock, that's going to actually then disable or change some of the other keys that you have uh, on your laptop. So watch the watch that. But if you've got a number pad, make sure your numlock is hit and you can go from there. Now, let's talk about controls. So if I hit escape, and bring up my menu here, I can go to options and from options, I can go to controls. And when you're in controls, uh, you can actually search your bindings. So if you, if there's a particular setting that you're looking for, then you can search those bindings. Uh, otherwise you can just kind of click through um, and see what the different bindings are currently set to. I can tell you, uh, generally speaking, the big ones are gonna be things like general key bindings. So for pausing physics is J, uh, Alt F4 to quit the game. Uh, unless you are a streamer, uh, and then uh, Alt F4 means that you will give a thumbs up to every one of the folks that are in your chat uh, as you're uh, streaming. I'm just kidding. Alt F4 quits the game. Okay, don't do not do Alt F4. All right. Uh, toggle full screen, Alt Enter. Uh, you can also do photo mode. If you're not familiar with photo mo mode, Mahama, Mu, Mahama, uh, that is Control Alt P. And that's exactly what this is. It takes your uh, system into the mode for you to take some really cool pictures. So you can line this up, you can change your field of view, right? You can also change your camera speed, which doesn't really do anything on this particular map. Um, but you can also do things like, you know, if I want to tilt the camera, give me some Batman action. You can also change the time of day. So if I want to change the time of day, and then when I'm ready, I can click on the little camera in the corner and it takes a screenshot. Do, do, do. Now I want to get my time of day fixed. The problem with time of day is uh, when, you, when you're playing the game, generally it looks fine. But if you are recording the game to put on YouTube, YouTube's compression really, really messes with time of day. So you want to watch that. Right, so again, I can hit escape and I can go into options and controls and we can go back to general. Um, another big one is hiding the UI. And that is when you're on the screen and you're playing, right? And so I'm driving and let's say I don't wanna see the speedometer, et cetera, down in the corner or whatever other UI 
interface items I have on the screen. I can hit Alt U and it hides all that stuff, right? And the other thing is notice that my, um, my door opener is no longer highlighting. So that's also a plus. If I hit Alt U again, I can hit this, I can hit my door opener and it will now it does not open all doors it just it depends on whatever the devs have set by default there is a mod called um something opener but anyway uh, and it will actually let you open doors and hoods and all kinds of stuff but that's a mod so uh, in the meantime that is what that does go back into our options and controls again under general uh, you have things like you can take a screenshot, big screenshot, uh, which is basically uh, high resolution. And then a huge one is maximum resolution. So, you know, there's all kinds of stuff you can do there uh, under general. Then the other big play, I would say, is gameplay. That's the other big menu in terms of your key bindings. That's where you've got things like show your radial menu, reset all the vehicle physics, shift R. Uh, that comes in handy, especially if you are setting things up, uh, especially with World Editor, where you've got pieces and parts that you've aligned exactly where you want them. Shift R will generally reset everybody back to where you had set them. Your mileage may vary. That doesn't always work. Uh, reset physics is I and R, just to uh, give you an idea um, as to what that looks like. Let's see. Our best bet would be to come around here and let's... Where am I? There I am. I'm like, where's my car? Uh, so we're going to slam into this dude. And then I'm going to hit either I or R, either one. And you'll notice that it resets my truck. It does not reset the other vehicle because I didn't have that one. Uh, I'm not currently in control of that vehicle, right? So if I tab, now I'm in control of that vehicle. I can hit either R or I and it will reset that vehicle. Um, you know what? Let's do this real quick. Uh, remember I told you before that Shift R will reset all the physics. So what I should be able to do is slam into these dudes. Whoosh. All right. So everybody's a mess. Things are not happy. But if I do Shift R, it resets everybody. So that's the big difference between R, I, and Shift R. R and I basically do the same thing, but Shift R is what gets you to reset all of your vehicles back to their starting positions. Again, going back into controls and under gameplay. Now, I'm not going through every single one of these. You guys get bored out of your gourd, but I'm just trying to give you an idea where to go to look for stuff. So if something isn't working the way you want it to, for example, the switch to next vehicle, uh, again, I've had several comments that say tab doesn't work. You just come into the gameplay settings and you look and see what is that key binding. If it is not currently set to tab, then what you can do is you can click on that binding and you'll see that there's a control here. I can click the trash can and that will take that binding away. Right. So now here, switch to next vehicle. I can hit the little plus to create a binding and then I can tab. And you'll see now that tab has been assigned. I can tell it apply. And in a moment, tab shows up as next vehicle. All right. Um, and, and again, you can set uh, different items to whatever you want. Um, I noticed here that toggle minimap is also tab. So there's a bit of a conflict there. So that could be a problem uh, depending on um, what you're doing and what you're looking at. Uh, generally, the mini map, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is when, like, if I'm in the car. Well, I don't. I don't have the. Obviously, I don't have the mini map even loaded up. I guess. Yeah. Or there's not one for this map. Uh, either way. <laughs> anyway, the mini map. It, it's not the GPS, but it's the GPS kind of looking thing that shows up uh, on the side. Um, and so that, that could be a conflict. So if it is a conflict, that's fine. You just come into gameplay and you come down in here to the toggle mini map and just click on this and change it to something else. It, it really is that easy. Um, uh, again, you can you know scroll down through here. You'll notice that if anything is blank, that means it does not currently have a um, 
uh, a key binding to it. And so you can add one. Now, I am curious. Okay, so couplers should still be L. Uh, some folks said they were having trouble with uh, loading trailers. Let me jump back out here. Um, oh, you know what? We'll just, whoops. Let's just spawn in a vehicle. <laughs> We're going to spawn in a camper trailer. Uh, this is, uh, is going to be interesting. Spawn new. It should actually jump out. Oh, okay. Well, basically the game tries to find the next available space that it can. Uh, I notice I do not have a hitch. So I need to go to my vehicle config and go to frame. And we want to go to tow hitch. And we want a receiver hitch. So there we go. So now let me get up here. Get up on this. All right, here we go. Oh, why is, oh, no, why, why, oh, man, okay, so if you have the menu up, then your arrow keys uh, affect the menu at the top, you see that? So you want to make sure you hit escape to get rid of that menu at the top. That, ladies and gentlemen, is going to take some getting used to. Oh, heavens to Murgatroyd, what have the devs done to us? All right, in the meantime, I'm close enough, I can hit L. And clunk, yep, that still works. So again, if you try to hook up a trailer and L is not working, go check your key bindings and see what key bindings you want. Now I'm using a keyboard and mouse. Your key bindings could also be your controller, right? So whatever you want to set your various controller buttons to, I'm drifting or was momentarily drifting with a camper because it's beam and G. Uh, anyway, I digress. Uh, but uh, so you can uh, set that controller option, or again, if you're using a wheel and pedals, whatever buttons or settings that you want, you can do that. Goosh, have a trailer in your face. In your face. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Oh, that was excellent. <laughs> And that is the proper way to write a trailer that has fallen over. <laughs> Just keep driving until it fixes itself. Uh, have I mentioned how much I love this game? By the way, if you have a vehicle and you've got a trailer attached, Generally speaking, if you just tap the home key, not only does it reset the position of the vehicle that you're driving, but it will also automatically respawn and attach the trailer that was associated uh, with that vehicle. So that is very handy. A lot of manual labor removed with that. That actually is, a, is from a previous update, several updates ago, but not a lot of people uh, recognize that. Anyway, back to the controls. Again, under gameplay, you have other options here. So you also notice like if you want to have a key that you trigger an explosion. So you want it to be where you're driving down the road and when you hit a particular key combination, uh, it automatically explodes the vehicle. You can add that as a key binding. So um, just for the sake of argument, there's not one here. Um, I, I have no idea. Can I do this? What's this do? Uh, okay, minus. All right, well, minus doesn't seem to have been applied to anything. So what I should be able to do at this point is drive down the road. And as soon as I hit the minus key, well, that's not working. <laughs> uh, demonstrating the fact that not everything works. Okay. So I don't know why. I don't know what I missed. Probably something stupid. Uh, I, I do that a lot. Oops, sorry. Controls. Gameplay. That is weird. Why didn't uh, why didn't explode? I wonder if it works with the uh, other minus key. Ah, yes. So it didn't, for whatever reason, like my numlock minus, but it had no problem with my uh, minus that's over by the plus at the top. <laughs> that, is, that is great. Uh, I've got brake fading. Because I'm on fire. Man, I love this game. All right, so anyway. There you go. So you can set whatever options you want to to whatever controls 
Uh, and again, you might have conflicts, so you might have to work some things out uh, as you move along. Now, um, other than gameplay in general, uh, you, I would, I wholeheartedly recommend you look through the different settings. So, for example, like slow motion, uh, toggle slow motion is uh, up or down. But then you can also, uh, you can also do alt left, which will step through various slow motion, and alt right, which will speed things back up. So, for example, as I'm driving here then and this may be a little hard to tell but if i hit if i hold alt and i tap the left key then notice that up in the upper left hand corner it's showing me that i'm slowing down likewise if i do the right then i am speeding up the game notice that the i'm not affecting the speed of my vehicle right alt slow down i'm still going 38 miles an hour it's just that i'm in slow motion and likewise real time stop there we go yeah nice oh likewise if you have other keys you want to assign to that you absolutely can then the other keys that i would say uh that people tend to need to focus on are your camera controls and that is um c is your next camera shift c is your free cam which i'm sure is down here toggle free camera which is shift c um generally speaking uh, whatever you have set for camera one, two, three, four, five, six, those are the number keys across the top of the keyboard. And so uh, you can also uh, set those. I don't think that's under, that's not under controls. That's actually under gameplay, I think. No. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I wasn't expecting to go there. Um, oh, camera. Durr. Uh, and so camera will actually show you which cameras are assigned to which keys and then whether or not they are actually active. So as you can see, I've got several cameras here that are not currently uh, turned on or active. So if I wanted to do that, then for example, I could toggle top down for seven. And then now when I get back into the game, if I'm driving along and I tap the seven key across the top of my keyboard, now I get top down, which I don't know why it is positioned where it is. That's a little weird to me, actually. Uh, but one is your orbit camera, which is kind of the standard. Uh, but then you have driver cam, you got hood cam, you have the external TV camera type thing. So, you know, you can still control your car. I mean, I'm going to use the word control very loosely because I'm the one driving. Oh, there we go. Can we use the newly discovered method to get our trailer back upright? Come on, buddy. There you go. Yeah. I mean, sure, the bathroom's a mess now, but who says it wasn't before? You know what I'm saying? All right, anyway. So there you go. <laughs> so uh, jumping back into controls. Uh, what you want to look for, though, also... Uh, you have a certain vehicle controls. So vehicle controls generally apply to every vehicle that you're using in the game. So in my case, again, I'm keyboard and mouse. So up and down is throttle and brake, steering left and right. Uh, you know, you got clutch, you got parking brake, all that kind of stuff. And so that applies to pretty much any vehicle you have. However, you'll also notice that there are specific vehicle specific controls. And this in this case, because the car I am focused on is the D-Series pickup, I can open the cargo doors with O. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, probably shouldn't do that while attached to a trailer. Although, honestly, that gives kind of a cool look to your tailgate. But don't, don't do that when you're attached to a trailer. It's not, not good. But those are the uh, vehicle specific controls which by the way generally uh, whenever you are focused on a vehicle in the upper right corner there's an arrow and this will show you those vehicle spe uh, specific controls now in this particular case it has things like retract a bed extend a bed now that does not work on this particular model of d series but there are other d series trucks where that you know is a thing for example if you had the the, the roll up tow truck then that's where this uh, extending and tilting would come into play, all right? 
So even though they're vehicle specific, then they also have to apply to which model of that vehicle you've got. Clear as mud, great. So again, vehicle specific. So you can look at that as well. Uh, and then of course you have other controls here. Uh, menu navigation, escape brings up the menu, uh, F1 for help. Uh, vehicle selector control E where that comes in handy is I'm just going to jump to this one I can do control E and immediately I can pick a vehicle from here so if I wanted to replace the vehicle that was already in play boom so instead of now I'm, I'm just it's a habit of mine where I you know hit escape and go into the vehicle selector or I use the radial menu which actually is no longer working yeah that's that's very weird yeah, let me see. Let me do. Let me do uh, Control F five. There we go. So Control F five <laughs> will reset uh, some of your physics and then bring back your main menu or your radial menu. But in any case, uh, you can do Control E, and that will bring up the vehicle spawner selector. And I can either replace a vehicle or I can spawn a new vehicle. And we can get out of Dodge. Yeah, see ya. Oh, that's not going to be good. We're going for a spin, boys and girls. Going for a spin. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Let's buzz up some flip lights. Ah, we gone. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to tab back over to my... Actually, I don't know where I am. Oh. I have no idea where that vehicle went. <laughs> He's gone. That, that's all that matters. He is out of here. All right. So once again, go back to our options, go back to our controls. Uh, I don't even remember where I was now, to be honest, but we have the menu navigation. So you can look through there. Uh, you have, you actually have slow motion, um, by itself. So how you toggle slow motion, etc. You also have replay functions. So um, you can start and stop recording using Alt R and or F2. Now, here's the thing. When you see two bindings, that means that either one of those will work. That doesn't mean you have to do both. It just means either one of those will work. Uh, I know uh, Alt R doesn't always work depending on your video card overlay software or something. I don't know. I had to, I had to go fix, I can't remember what it was. I had to fix something at one point because Alt R would not bring up my, uh, replay recording. So just, uh, to kind of let you know, uh, the, uh, editor, there are key bindings for the editor. So when you are in world editor, uh, some of that comes into play. Um, if you get into flow graph editor, which I have not done at all, uh, there are the key bindings for that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I mainly just wanted to get in here real quick and cover some of the controls because I know some people have been having trouble with controls, um, in the game. Uh, one of the other things I do want to bring up is when you hit F11 to go into the world editor, uh, it's going to take it a second. Okay, so when I'm in the world editor, I can click on the truck. Here's my inspector, etc. Some folks have said that they don't see anything. And for some reason, okay, so if you go into world editor and you like you see the vehicles, but you don't see any of your menus, usually that's because uh, you'll need to hit alt U to turn the interface back on. So if you come up and it just kind of looks like this, that means you don't have your interface. You want to do alt U in order to bring up your interface. Likewise, you might have to come to the window and you might have to click on various items. So for example, if I didn't see my inspector, right? My inspector's gone. I can come up to window. I can go to inspector and it'll bring my inspector back. All right. So again, just, just some things to look at, think about, deal with, uh, anytime or as you are playing around in the beam NG. So there you go. Uh, I have no idea how long this video is. We'll, we'll find out together. Uh, but, uh, hopefully that's enough to cover some of the basic controls, or at least the ideas of where you can go to look at controls, edit controls, and, uh, kind of get things set up the way that you want to in beam ng 
Hey, got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamergall, and Los Wilco for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, get something out of it, and I appreciate it so much. I'm oh, Our vehicle has come to a stop somewhere way off in the distance, which theoretically I should be able to just ramp this bad baby backwards and find where we were, I think, maybe. Although I'm not going as straight as I was before, I don't think. Wow. We're gonna I'm gonna blow my engine long before I get back. Yeah, I have no idea. You know what here? There you go. There you are. Okay, you happy? Anyway, there you go. I'm David in our Oh, crunch time. Blam. Have a great day.